and Jordan Hayes, Chris Antonio, are you ready to work team? All of us have been told at some point throughout our athletic career, whether it be by our peers or coaches, to be a good teammate. But what exactly does that mean? I've had coaches in the past describe a teammate as somebody who is driven or determined. But to me, it means something different. To me, a good teammate is somebody who celebrates, motivates, leads, and most importantly, is a lifelong friend. When kids first start getting involved in youth sports, they're not concerned about winning. They're just out there having a good time and eating all the team snacks. A good example of this is if you've ever driven past an elementary school during recess. There's a lot of running, a lot of yelling, a lot of laughter. That's youth sports in a nutshell, and that's the way it should be. But kids do learn a very valuable lesson at this time in their lives. They learn how to celebrate each other's individual achievements. Now whether Timmy hits his first home run, or Sarah makes her first three-pointer, learning to celebrate these individual achievements is a very important step in becoming a good teammate and helps student athletes as they progress throughout the rest of their careers. Now, high school can be a very challenging time for student athletes to navigate. There are a lot of pressures to perform academically and athletically while you're continuing to mature socially. This is also a time where a lot of student athletes begin to seriously consider competing for an NCAA scholarship. A good teammate in this sense motivates. He or she knows that there are a lot of new distractions, whether it be relationships or parties, that their peers might encounter. But they won't let them become distracted by this. They continue to push them in the weight room, in the classroom, at practice, and in games, because it has such a big impact on their overall success and their goals. Now, making the transition from high school to college was somewhat difficult for me. In high school, I was very focused on individual achievements. In my sport, everybody wants to throw the hardest, hit the farthest, and run the fastest. But in college, that's not the name of the game. Here in Marymount, everybody preaches winning. Our goals are to win the conference, win the region, and ultimately, to win a national championship. With this in mind, coaches are forced to put the very best players on the court, field, and track, day in and day out. Unfortunately, this means that not everybody will have the opportunity to play. Take my sport, for example, the baseball team here at Marymount. You know a thing or two about baseball, you know that only nine players can be on the field at one time. Our team has 50 players on the roster. That means that come game day, 41 players will not be actively participating in the game. Now, unfortunately, that's just the reality. This does not mean, however, that these 41 players don't have an impact on the team's success. A good teammate knows this, and a good teammate leads these players because they have a role to play. Whether it's taking down stats for our team, jotting down notes on our opponent, or screaming at the top of your lungs when somebody hits a home run, everybody has a role to play and impact on the team's success. Now, unfortunately, not all NCAA athletes get the opportunity to play at the next level. The reality is, some of us will have to part ways with the sport that we love and work a nine to five job. But that does not mean that the years of training and practice and playing that we put into athletics will simply fade away. The connections that we've made with our teammates will last forever. A good teammate will be a lifelong friend. They'll be a groomsman or a bridesmaid at your wedding. They'll be the godparents to your children. Who knows, it may be even a business partner. A teammate now could be the next Bill Gates or Elon Musk in the future. You never know what the future will hold. Before I close out here tonight, I'd like to ask all the student athletes in the room to reflect on your time as an athlete, not just here at Marymount, but every team that you've been a part of in your life. Are you really a good teammate? Are you somebody who celebrates, motivates? Are you a leader? And most importantly, are you a lifelong friend? Thank you.